in the engineering calculus, there is a whole chapter that is, not chapter, but a whole section that says new functions from old. And so you're going to take two things that are old and then you're going to uh, bring them together under an operation of some kind and you're going to create a new one from it. So it's F composed with G. You're also going to see this guy and he is the reverse. And this would be G composed C-A-M-P-O-S-E-D composed with F. And that's the order in which this thing is done. So you see a reverse order, it's the order in which things are done. And so the and then it goes on to say is if you have F composed with G of X, it's this thing, F of G of X. Now, F composed with G, we often call, use the word fog. And G composed with F, we often use the word goth. With that little circle almost being an O, so it's fog and goth. And this is how it works. If I have f of g of x, or if I have g of f of x, the first one is fog, the second one is goff. So fog and goff. I want you to think about the idea of a uh, Thanksgiving with turkeys and stuffing, unless you, unless you have a tofurkey uh, and you're a vegan, uh, but I don't think they make them shaped like turkeys. But you have a turkey and you have stuffing. And what we tend to do is at Thanksgiving, although they say it is dangerous to do so, I grew up that way. I seem to turn, well, I, that may be, I was thinking I seem to turn out okay, but I'm not sure people will basically say uh, other things. But what did you do? Well, once you cleaned the turkey all out, you took the stuffing and you stuffed it into the turkey. So when I'm thinking about fog and golf, F is the turkey, and G is the stuffing. So the composition of functions does it takes a, a function and stuffs another function inside it. In this particular instance, if I'm dealing with Goff, G is the turkey, and F is the stuffing. So you reverse it. It's kind of like uh, one of the other things they have at Thanksgiving is a turducken, which is a turkey stuffed with a duck, stuffed with a chicken, say turducken. So at which point in time, if you were looking at maybe a turducken instead of a turducken, you'd have a turkey stuffed with a duck. And if you'd have a ducky, you'd have a duck stuffed with a turkey. So one is fog and one is goth. And this is lunchtime, and I'm probably making you hungry. <laughs> Even for that, you're pretty disgusted about this point in time. Okay. Uh, so that's how this thing is going to work. And what this is, is an example of the operation. And I'm not so happy with this up here. So I'm going to move down, and I'm going to move down to part B, where they are really looking at taking F composed with G of X and what that means. So this says in the function F, wherever there's an X, you replace it by the function G of X. What I might do that's a little different here is that I'd still have F of G of X. I go to F, which happens to be 3X, and this would be three, that's the turkey, the stuffing is G of X. 
which is 3, the stuffing g of x happens to be 1 plus x squared. So I started out with a function g of x and created a new function by bringing these two together. And he happens to be 3 plus 3x squared. So I took two functions and created a new function from those two functions. Now, if I wanted to go the other direction, which was g of f of x, now g is the turkey and f of x is the stuffing that says go to the function g, which is 1 plus x squared, pull the x out, so that's the opening in the turkey, right? And in the turkey, you're going to put the stuffing, which is f of x. So this becomes 1 plus, well, what was f of x? I go back up here, f of x was 3x. I put 3x squared, that's where f of x now goes. So then this becomes 1 plus 9x squared. I have made a new function from two old ones. And they are different. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, I have a yes. Where's the x squared? It's 1 plus x squared. Right here. G is 1 plus x squared. Now, now remember, in, in this particular instance, I'm pulling the x out of, because f of x is 3x. I'm pulling the x out of 3, and this is what x is. x is the function g of x. Then I replace g of x by what it is, which is 1 plus x squared, and then multiply it through. In this particular instance, g happens to be 1 plus x squared. <coughs> I pull the x out, I replace the x by f of x, f of x happens to be 3x. Because if I take a look at f of x, it's 3x the quantity squared, right? Because f of x is 3x. I replace this f of x by 3x. Now you're squaring that whole thing, which turns into 9x squared. <coughs> 